It is a gorgeous November northern Michigan day the second week in November and it's almost 60 degrees outside. The sun is shining, but man, there's not too many more of these left. I do know that. So today we're going to put a cover from carcover.com on the fifth wheel and get it ready for winter. Stick around. So here is my fifth wheel cover from carcover.com. Let's uh, open this thing up. We'll get a look at it and then we'll get busy putting it on. So the cover does come with its own storage bag. This here I believe is the um, ladder rack. If your uh, RV or fifth wheel has a uh, ladder on the back, you put this over the top it'll stop the um, cover from snagging and uh, getting caught on the ladder and causing premature damage if uh, you have an issue. Now that is one thing though when we're talking about damage that uh, really drew me to carcover.com. They have a lifetime warranty on their covers and it doesn't matter if it's a cover for your uh, RV, your fifth wheel, your travel trailer, um, your collector car, um, regular car, whatever it is, they all come with a lifetime warranty. And that warranty will cover you against anything, whether it's normal wear and tear, um, or you know maybe you snag it on your ladder or something and, and cause the issue yourself. They have a warranty that's going to cover you for life on the cover. So that's a pretty, uh, pretty good thing. It's unheard of, especially in this sort of a market. Um, but check out carcover.com. I think you'll be impressed with them as well. But let's open this thing up and uh, we'll, we'll get busy with it. All right, so we've got the initial uh, plastic wrap off of the cover. But you can see here, this is actually vacuum sealed. Um, so we're going to have to cut this open. It does come with a uh, pretty good size uh, patch material. If you ever run into an issue, you need to um, prolong the life of it. Sticky on one side, you peel it off, you stick it on, and you're good to go. Um, instructions that are included in the box with your cover. This tells you um, how to um, install it regardless of what type of camper or RV that you might have. Now here is another small bag that has several um, protectors, covers for downspouts for the gutters on your RV. This here um, you'll be able to put over the top of the um, gutter and um, um, protect the um, sharp edges from digging into your cover as you're installing it or taking it off. So you definitely want to put these on. Let's cut this open and get it out. Now one of the first things that they recommend doing with your new cover is to unroll it and uh, get a handle on the front and the back of the cover. Um, there is a tag um, that indicates where the front is and I think this is going to be best done right here in my driveway. It's nice and flat and relatively clean um, and we'll prep this and get it ready for putting on the roof. So here is our cover all laid out just as they um, uh, suggest that you do. Now, my fifth wheel is a 27 foot um, unit. So this here is designed to fit from 26 to 29 feet. And the big thing here is you do want to find the front and they make it real simple with this tag that says front. So I know where that is exactly. Now from here, what you're going to do is you're going to fold this, the sides towards the center and then roll it up from the back to the front. So that when you transfer it to the roof of the RV, you'll go to the front, you'll unroll it and it'll be ready to just go over the side. So that's what we're going to do. Now I do want to talk a little bit though about the construction of this um, because it is a very heavy uh, material and I, I did get the nicer of the two that they offered for the fifth wheel. 
Um, one was a three ply, the other is a five ply. I opted to get the five ply because I am here in northern Michigan. We get a lot of snow. Um, eventually you're going to get ice, you're going to get rain, you're going to get all sorts of things as the seasons um, start to run into one another. So I opted for the heavier one. Um, this is waterproof yet breathable. It is vented very well. You can see um, there's a lot of straps that are going to help secure it to the fifth wheel itself also. Um, so let's get to, uh, get to work. We're going to um, get this ready to move it up to the roof. And there we have it, kind of big, kind of bulky, um, but I didn't want to pack it too tight so that it will be a lot easier to unroll it and to hopefully get it to unfurl over the sides um, when I am up there. Now it is important to note, um, I have done all of the winterization um, that needed to be done to the fifth wheel and also have done everything that I needed to do to prep for putting the cover on. So those gutter guards have been installed, any sharp uh, areas have been taken care of. One of the other things I have done in preparation for the winter months also is I have used a mice repellent from Grandpa Gus this year in my RV. Um, they're little packets, they're cinnamon and peppermint um, and mice don't like them. So I've got several packets throughout the RV, as well as a spray to um, help prevent them from traveling up any of the uh, potential spots that they could work their way into your trailer. So that's a good thing too. I'll have a link posted for more information about Grandpa Gus as well. So here we are up on the roof of the fifth wheel. And as you can see, I have the cover all the way at the front. We're going to unroll it towards the back over the sides and then finish the installation so it's a little breezy hopefully we don't have too much trouble with that but um, we'll do the best we can right now one thing it is uh, important to be mindful of is where your uh, vents and other uh, items are located at up on the roof so that you aren't stepping somewhere that uh, you shouldn't be stepping. Um, that could be disastrous. Well, there it is. We've got our fifth wheel cover from carcover.com installed. And I have to say, you know, it went pretty well. Probably would have been a little easier with some help today with the winds that we were experiencing, but all in all, things went well. I do like um, how it installed. Um, once I got it in position properly, got the sides down, lots of straps to run underneath and along the ends and things that uh, uh, or feel like it's going to be pretty secure over the winter time. The only thing I didn't really care for because this is designed to fit a range of sizes um, from 26 to 29 feet, uh, mine being on the shorter side of that, I've got a little excess uh, hanging on the end that um, really if I had pulled it more to the front uh, probably would have eliminated some of that. I'll remember that next year. But all in all I'd say it's a great cover and something I'm proud to represent. Follow the link down below if you need a cover, whether it's for your RV, for your car, 
um, for just about anything that you could cover up vehicle wise they make a cover for it lifetime warranty um, that's unheard of if you follow my link um, there is a 10 percent discount that you will get and that's at a minimum if they've got something better than that going on they're going to honor that as well so give them a try and also don't forget grandpa gus he makes some great stuff to help keep away those mice whether it's in your rv your home wherever you might have a problem uh, grandpa gus will help you with that as always, uh, thanks again for watching uh, us here on Randy Reviews. And if you like what you see, subscribe, um, like, share, comment. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. Thanks again, and thanks for hanging out.